Catherine and I work for 10 South Tyneside Young Carers. South Tyneside Young Carers offers support to children and young people in South Tyneside who care for a parent, a sibling or anybody else who has an illness, disability, mental health difficulty or misuses drugs or alcohol. We offer after school groups and school holiday activities and this gives our young carers a chance to really enjoy themselves and it gives them a break from their caring roles. It also gives them a chance to just enjoy the childhood and to make some new friends. If young carers can't come and say to our after school groups, we'll also offer support within schools. We'll have monthly school drop-ins at every secondary school in South Tyneside. And this gives young carers a chance to come and see us, have a bit of a break and also get any support or any help that they might need. We work in partnership with Humankind Young Carers and they are responsible for assessments and referrals. If you think you yourself may be a young carer or know of anybody else who might be, you can find the information for making a referral on our website www.southtinesideyoungcarers.org and click on the referral and assessment tab at the top. Since Covid we've had to do things a bit differently We've had to stop our after school groups, our school holiday activities and our school drop-ins but instead we're offering remote activity packs where the young carers can come and get activity packs from us and then complete them at home in their own time. And if any of our young carers want to talk to us they just need to send us a message and we can talk with them through one-to-one -one Zoom sessions. Our first top tip is to talk to others. We're really missing our young carers and we haven't seen a lot of them since March, but we really love it when they come along to our collection points and we get a chance to catch up. As well, we're working from home, which means we don't get to see the rest of the team very often, so it's important to keep in touch and just give each other a ring or a message and make sure everybody's doing all right. And also, we're still here, we're still working from home, for our young carers and the families so if you need us just give us a shout and we can be here to help and support you. Our second top tip is to get some exercise. Over lockdown we absolutely love doing Joe Wicks and seeing all of the videos of our young carers joining in and we found that it was a really good way to start your day. If Joe Wicks is not your thing you could always just get up go for a walk, I take my dog out on the morning and once I've got up and out of my warm and cosy bed and gone for a walk, I always feel so much better afterwards and have a much more productive day. And you could even go for a socially distanced walk with a friend and that gives you the chance to talk with others and to get yourself some exercise. Our third and final tip is to just give yourself a break. Not every day is going to be easy, especially with the constant changes and restrictions, so it's okay if you're not having a good day. But just take the time to do something you enjoy, cheer yourself up, have a nice bath, eat lots of chocolate, watch a nice movie, and then tomorrow is a new day. For more information, please don't hesitate to get in touch. You can contact us over the phone or via email you can message us through Facebook or Instagram or visit our website. We look forward to hearing from you soon.